Hello, this is Kristen with the Queen Anne's County Library, and I'm bringing you today's take home kit, which is Jane Austen inks. Um, that's why I decided to dress up in um, Regency fashions just to kind of fit in with the theme. Um, so let's look inside of our bags and see what we have here. So you should have um, some sort of an embroidery pattern here. And then inside this bag, you will also find um, one handkerchief and your inking pen. Um, and then at home, you're gonna want to have some tape and some paper, as well as possibly um, a marker, just in case you need to trace your, your design to make it a little bit darker to see through. I'm gonna show you a couple examples of some that I've made. So this is one, um, this is just a practice one, as you can tell, um, nothing that's finished on this. Um, and then here is a finished, um, this is a Regency reticule, so it's a, a bag and you can see the design has been inked on and then I added some other features to it. Um, so you can kind of do a lot of stuff with this, this technique. Um, back in the Regency time, they would use it for the reticule bags, they would do it for handkerchiefs, for actually um, designs on their dresses. Um, so we're just gonna work with um, a handkerchief just to give you a small sample of what you could could do and also um, because the handkerchief has been hemmed so it'll give you a, a finished product without having to worry about sewing anything. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna give you the close-up view of, of um, what we're gonna work on, okay? So as you can see, I have my, my design right here. I am just gonna be using this um, one small piece of it um, because I just wanna do a corner of my fabric. Um, I'm just gonna be using a, a plain piece of fabric, um, whereas you have your um, handkerchief, um, but it's basically the same size. And then underneath, I also have um, a couple pieces of paper just to um, make sure the ink doesn't go through. So I'm just gonna line up the corner here and um, since I have an unfinished piece of fabric, I'm just gonna leave a little bit around the edges. Um, you can probably get as close as you want if you do have, you, if you're using the handkerchief fabric, just because there is the end there um, that's finished. Um, and if you can see your um, image through when you press down, then um, you won't need to retrace over um, your picture, but if it does look a little bit too faint or the background is kind of, um, covers up some of the fabric because I know the, the pages from the book have like a little bit of a color to the background. Um, you can use a Sharpie marker to color over. Otherwise, we're gonna be using um, our archival pens to um, make our design. And um, these ones should be um, water, you, you should be able to, to wash your, your handkerchief without them running. Um, so basically, you want to tape down once you have where you want your fabric and I'm just gonna use this and you don't have to use scotch tape you can use um, other tape as well So I'm just going to tape on the corners here just to kind of hold it down because there's nothing worse than getting started and then having it move on you. And so then I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to start um, from one side and start tracing. And you do, um, I usually go over it a couple of times just to make it a little bit darker. This one um, adds some, some lines inside the circles just to give it a little bit more texture.
you just want to continue doing that until you have um, completely traced your image onto your fabric using your pen. So I'm just working on finishing up my shading here. You can see um, on my petals here. But I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I might want to go over it one more time just to make it a little bit darker. But that is kind of um, your personal preference if you feel it's good after the initial inking, then you should be um, all set. Now you, these um, pens do come in different colors. So if you were to do um, like a flower and you wanted to shade it a different color, you could get one of those. Um, we just have the black ones in our kit though, um, just for the basic. Usually they would um, only do one or two colors for their inks, um, their inked embroidery. And the, the embroidery examples that we have here are from um, a publication that they used to put out back in the early 1800s called Ackerman's Repository. And um, you can actually find it online through the internet archive. Um, if you search for it, um, you would be able to, to see what they had in there. So they had other things other than just um, embroidery examples in there. But this is what we are using for our design. So that um, is a finished design. Um, if I want to go over it again, I can. Um, otherwise, I can be um, content with what it looks like. So um, I may just go over it just a little bit more. Okay, I've gone over everything twice, so it's a little bit darker. Um, I think I'm satisfied with what it looks like. So um, that should be uh, my, my finished corner of what would be a, a handkerchief. Um, and once again, if you wanted to do more than just the one corner or so designs on each side, whatever, um, it's just kind of your, your personal preference of what you want it to look like. But for right now, I'm going to be um, satisfied with that. So here's the um, finished corner of my embroidery. Um, if you, you can kind of tell from a distance, it looks a little bit like actual embroidery, which is great because um, I have never learned how to do proper embroidery with needle and thread. So this is a, a great alternative that is historically accurate. Um, I was also going to point out, if you didn't want to look up Ackermans or were interested in additional um, Jane Austen type embroidery, we do have this book at the library called Jane Austen Embroidery. Um, and it just gives you some projects that you can work on. And this one uses actual embroidery, but you can still use the patterns for inked um, embroidery. So I hope you had fun and learned a little, little something historic here. Um, and hopefully you'll join us for another take home kit. Thank you. Bye.